Hey guys, Jacob from Rainbow's Aquarium here. Uh, today we're back with another unboxing from Aquarium Glasser. Over half of the species on this list I've actually never even seen in person. This is going to be really, really exciting to open up. Opening up the first box, I see a couple big bags here. Starting off with the first one. Oh my goodness, these are Corydora Wiseman. These have a similar look to something like a panda cory, but their body goes a quite nice orange color while having those two black dots. They're a really unique Corydora. My first time seeing these guys. Oh, the Hemigramus Coruleus Red are a really unique Tetra. In my opinion, one of the most intensely red Tetras out there. They are sexually dimorphic, with the females being a bit more of like an orange or a pink color, as opposed to the bright intense red that the males get. But a gorgeous, gorgeous fish nonetheless. The Para Autosynclus Heraldi. These are a very unique little autosynclus. The closest thing that I can think of that it reminds me of is a mini snowball pleco but staying more so the size of an autosynclus, closer to two, two and a half inches. Well, mixing up the species a little bit with a unique barb. These guys are called a melon barb. They are about full grown, it does look like. They go a really intense orange and red color with having black dots on their body. Generally a quite peaceful barb relative to something like a, a tiger barb or a black ruby barb and a gorgeous fish for community tanks. These guys here are a very unique little killifish that I've never seen before. Epiplatus dagodi. They are closely related to something like the clown killifish. They do get a little bit larger, close to twice the size, but you're gonna get very similar behaviors that you do the sparring as well as the displaying for the females. A very cool little killifish. Moving on to the second box, let's take a look at what we've got in here. First species I've got in here are Toucan Tetras. These are an incredibly unique Tetra. Very small fish. These guys here are almost full grown. They do max out about an inch long. They get a beautiful bright red on the underside of their chin and on their nose. These guys are quite delicate. So you wanna make sure you have really well established tanks for them. Oh, this species of angelfish here are a very unique one. They're called Leopoldi angels. They have a considerably different body shape and fin shape than something like a classic angelfish or an ultim angelfish. They do stay quite a bit smaller, maxing out body size around three, three and a half inches, plus their fins. A very hard to come by angelfish. Eels aren't something we bring in very frequently, but they are a super cool fish for a lot of community aquariums. These guys are called Masticambellus crypticampus. These guys max out around a foot long, um, and anything that does fit in their, their mouth can end up as a snack. But generally speaking, they do make quite good community fish. The final species we're gonna take a look at today are one of the three commonly known pygmy cories, the Corydoras hastatus. These guys, similarly to pygmy cories, are gonna spend a lot of the time mid-column. A very small cory, maxing out less than an inch in size. A great option for many different nanotanks. Well, I could only show a few species that we received today. We actually received a total of 16 boxes of fish, including 49 different species, over 30 of which we've never had in store before. Next time you're in, you'll be able to check out lots of unique fish. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.